It's good to have some new people on the island of Sodor. Engines like Henry arrived way earlier on the island of Sodor than everyone else. People like Duck came to the island of Sodor as well. I mean, look at him. The most awkward shape. He walks like a duck. Wait, what? And he has freakish, freakishly proportional body. What? What? Uh, well, uh, that was very rude of you. And plus, always talks about the Great Western Railway. I don't often. One night, Thomas and Percy were sleeping in the sheds. When they both heard a familiar whistle of a train, they knew they heard before. When the new engine came alive, or might as well say, veteran of the island, <laughs> Stephanie showed up with a big surprise smile. Huh? Stephanie, you're back? Uh, wait. Wait, didn't you went to the Blue Bell Railway or something? Well, I can explain that. Well, you see, I'm, I'm Stephanie's new driver, and I drive all the way here, you know, just to spot Stephanie over here. Yeah. So, I bought Stephanie and took him to the other railway. So, yeah, he's the new engine again. So, how do you like it? Is that why he looks a lot shinier and yellow? I don't know. Well, anyways. Anyways, welcome back to Sorter, Stephanie. Oh man, it's so good to be back. You know, I changed personalities, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, he is kinda right, you know. Well, do you really see any changes, Percy? Well, uh, not really. Whoa, Toby, where did you come from? Well, I just typically got back from pulling Henrietta and some couple trucks. Anyways, what type of personalities do you have, anyway? Like, your new ones, right? Oh, crap, I forgot. I gotta go take my goods train. I'll catch you on the flip side. That night, Stanley got back from taking the switch. He really wanted to rest. I want to freaking rest. Oh, no, you're not. Morning. Yeah. We're gonna go through this again like last time. Look, just because you're the new inch or veteran or whatever, doesn't mean you can sleep in our home. It's not your home, stupid. That's your shed. Well, I don't care. You're not sleeping in here. <sighs> Fine. I'll go sleep somewhere else. What's all the commotion, Gordon? <sighs> Stephanie, the new engine, wants to sleep in our sheds. Wow, really? You can't sleep in here because it's our home. Yes, exactly. That's why he's not sleeping in here. You two are being really ridiculous. Hey, wanna hear something? It's a new expression. It's called, will you please be quiet? It's none of your business. <sighs> Maybe one day those two would murder us. We said to shut the heck up. The next night, Percy was supposed to couple up to some milk cars, but his brakes don't work and he ended up taking off to the station. Without the truck. He shot through to the station down to the other line. Help! Help! I'm a runaway! Ah! Percy shot through the tunnel and went to the other line. But he didn't know that he was heading towards Stephanie's old shed. A minute. I'm far away from you. See? How can I even hear you? You say that I'm okay. Well, logic. But don't worry, Percy. I'll go find some people to save you. If I can give a move on. <sighs> I can't believe I have to put up with this crap again. And I swear to God, if it's Percy's accident again, I will flip out. Alright, Stephanie, what's the problem? Oh crap! Not you again, Percy! Oh hey, Edward! Stephanie, shut the heck up! It's too early in the morning for this crap! Hey, wait a minute! Aren't you supposed to be all riceful and enjoy all that stuff? Well, you got two out of three correct. So, anyway, why is dark number six laying in the freaking field?
field again. Well, it was, it was a very really long story. Oh my god. This is the smartest whoever made Lego Gummy Bird. So help me. I will take away your juice box privileges and send you to hell. Understand? Uh, uh um, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Alright, good. I'll get the brake fan right here. Uh, wait. Uh oh, I don't Sorry. Let's just get the brake fan either way. After Edward helped pulling Percy out of the field, Percy had something to say to step in. He was coincidentally right here, even though he's always been here. You know, I gotta say, I gotta tell us to talk about about this incident, about you being a hero. Hey, it was my duty, and I can't thank you enough. The next morning, Sir Top Hat wanted to speak to Stephanie. He wanted to talk to me, sir. It is very wrong of you for saving Percy. And done a bunch of other things. Nowadays. Oh, thank you, sir. I really love it. 